Hello everyone, we will continue the topic types of internal table and under that we will continue the standard internal table and we already covered the first five points. Now I will come on to next point. In case of standard internal table, to search a record, we can use linear search also. We can use binary search also. Linear search is also, also called as sequential search. So if someone is using the term linear search or someone is using the term sequential search, one and the same thing. So firstly, we will understand what is linear search or sequential search. Then we will understand binary search also. Suppose, suppose I will go for an example. Suppose I have an internal table and in that internal table, I have a column order number. And these are the values of the order number. Suppose I want to search a order number, suppose 8. Into this internal table, I want to search order number 8. So how linear search or sequential search will work? Word itself is saying it will go sequence by sequence. So firstly, it will go to first record. Is order number 1 is equal to 8? No. Is order number 4 is equal to 8? No. Is order number 6 is equal to 8? No. Is order number 2 is equal to 8? No. Is order number 8 is equal to 8? Yes. So this is called as sequential search or linear search. From the starting itself, we are linearly searching the internal table. We are searching the internal table in a sequential manner. We are going for the records one by one and we will, we will go for the matching record into that internal table. This is called as linear search or sequential search. Now I will come on to binary search. Now, what is binary search? How binary search work? Binary search always, always look for a middle element in the internal table. Suppose if I have these records in the internal table, so it will look for the middle element. Just see out of these records, what is the middle element? 6 is the middle element. So in the upper half, we have the records whose values is less than 6. You can see the 4, 2, 1, they are the less values uh, as whenever we are comparing 1, 2, 4, 2, 6. That's 1, 2, 4 are less than 6. In the lower half, we have the values greater than 6. So you can see 8, 10 and 12 are greater than 6. So in case of binary search, the system will look for a middle element. In the upper half, we have the values lower than that. In the lower half, we have the values greater than that. Suppose in this case, if I want to look for order number 8, if we want to search for order number 8, then what system will do? 6 is the middle element. So this is upper half, this is lower half. Then system will simply, simply compare. Is 8 is greater than 6 or less than 6? If it is less than 6, system will go to other upper part. If it is greater than 6, system will come to lower part and 8 is greater than 6, greater than 6. So system will simply, simply come on to the lower part. So have you seen how the performance is improving? The search time is automatically improved 
in case of linear search we are going for each and every record one by one unless and until we get a matching record in case of binary search yes we are dividing the list into two parts upper half and lower half in the upper half the values less than that in the lower half we have the values greater than that so binary search is always always performance effective as compared to linear search now whenever we will ask in the interview that for standard internal table can we go for linear search and binary search both so many participants will say no we can only only go for linear search because by default in case of standard internal table we have linear search only but yes we can go for binary search also in case of standard internal table there is no restriction at all we can improve the performance of a standard internal table using binary search now what is the prerequisite for the binary search have you seen our data must be in the sorted order if data is not in the sorted order how how system will look for middle element if data is not sorted how the upper half has the values less than and the lower half has the values greater than the middle element so never never forget to sort the internal table if we are going for binary search now now we will see here this is our code for the standard internal table we are reading the record into this internal table and we are looking for order number 1 so whenever we will look for order number 1 as of now system is working on linear search linear search system will go okay so the first point itself it will find the order number 1 so as of now system is going for linear search linear search but yes we can improve the performance because as of now we have very less records in the internal table we just inserted six records to the internal table but in real projects we have billion trillion of data at that time yes we should use binary search binary search now if i want to use binary search yes we sorted the internal table we sorted never never forget to sort the internal table so if i want to go for binary search i can simply simply use the keyword binary search see this is standard internal table only we sorted the internal table and we used binary search yes we can improve the performance of standard internal table using binary search so yes if someone ask in the interview can we only only go for linear search in standard internal table yes by default it is linear search only but yes with the help of code yes you can use binary search also with the standard internal table but just sort and then use the binary search if i will come on to sixth and seventh point in case of standard internal table we can go for both type of search yes seventh point response time depends upon the number of entries in the internal table this is truly point suppose suppose i am saying our internal table has suppose 1 lakh record suppose we have 1 lakh order numbers if i will go for suppose suppose i have 1 lakh order number 
and I want to go for suppose so I want to search for the order number which whose values is one lakh. So what I need to do, I need to go to each and every record one by one and I have to go to last record because I am searching for the order number one lakh. So if your internal table has so many records, yes, response time depends upon the number of records in the internal table. Yes, if I am going for linear search, yes, response time depends upon the number of records in the internal table. But yes, can you improve the response type of stand response time of standard internal table? Yes, we can improve the response time of standard internal table by using binary search because binary search will divide the records into two parts. Upper half has lower less upper half has the values less than the middle element. Lower half has the values greater than the middle element. So sixth point, we can go for both type of searches. And in the seventh point, yes, response time depends upon number of records. Yes, if we have so many records, yes, response time will be slow. Yes, but we can improve the response time by using the binary search. So what is the full summary of the standard internal table? The first point we covered, it is a by default internal table. If you are using the word standard or if you are not using the word standard, system will always, always create a standard internal table. Yes, they are the index-based internal table we saw we have an index of each and every record. We can insert the records to standard internal table using append also, using insert also. If someone asks what is the difference between in insert and append, append always insert the record at the last Insert, insert the record at any position, at any line inside the internal table. In case of standard internal table, data is not sorted by default. You have to use the sort statement if you want to sort the data. Yes, we can read a record from the standard internal table using key also using index also and we saw the practical of the same. Now both type of searches are possible in standard internal table. Never tell that yes we can only only go for linear search that is by default but yes with the help of code you can use binary search also with the standard internal table. But do not forget to sort the internal table. Response time of a standard internal table depends upon the number of records because by default it is linear search only. So it has to go for number, it has to go for the records one by one. But yes, we can improve the response time by using the binary search. In the next video, we will start with sorted internal table and each and every point will be compared to the standard internal table. So that's it in this video. Thank you.